Hey, everybody, around Stubby Ochre, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, bringing more to the table. Time for our fairway meet and grocery post game with Coach uh, Terry Reyes. Final regular season games of the year. The Warriors take two from uh, Southwestern 6-3 to three and then 11-3. to three. And, uh, Coach, that's kind of the way you want to go into the postseason, obviously, on a winning note. You get both wins today, but uh, we'll open up uh, just overall with your thought on, on how your team performed today. Yeah, um, I think we had just a little bit of a slow start in game one, um, just working through some of the kinks, a little bit of jitters on a couple of things, especially with it being sophomore day. Um, but I think we were able to be versatile, switch a few things around. Everyone played the field, kind of switched things good. Um, so it was a good start to, as we go into um, Wednesday for postseason. Defensively, obviously, we we probably made a few more errors and you're like to see. It seemed like fly balls, even on the infield, normally uh, you don't have any trouble with those. Uh, and Maybe sometimes it's just that kind of a day. I don't know. But obviously, uh, probably want to clean some of that stuff up. Yeah, we just need to be a little bit more aggressive, have that chip on our shoulder a little bit more. Uh, I think that's just the only thing we saw. And they know what they need to do. And just some kinks we'll have to work out tomorrow to get ready for Wednesday um, and just come prepared. But, I mean, we worked through it. Bats were pretty solid overall. And then we did make some other good defensive plays, keep runners, um, you know, away from situations. So. Yeah, had some some real nice uh, defensive plays in the midst of it, uh, and also I, I thought uh, Sarah Reed was was good today. For, uh, four innings, no earned runs, uh, mm -hmm. and she uh, the first game a uh, couple of one two three innings right out of the shoot. So mm -hmm. your thoughts on uh, how she performed, and if if you feel uh, confident with her going into the postseason? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, we started Sarah obviously being sophomore day, but she's worked incredibly hard and done a good job, and she's one we just kind of work quick and efficiently, and it just helps us prepare for uh, what we need in postseason. It was good to kind of mix around the three. Three, three main ones we've had factor in and get ready for the postseason too. So she did a good job. All right. Uh, yeah, and offensively had some strong performances today. Uh, Rayleigh, Folk, and uh, Simpson, uh, all with multiple hits in the first game, and I think there were a couple others. And then you came right out in the second game almost like ready to send a message. I mean, you, you got uh, right on them and, and really took it at them right out of the shoot. Yeah, um, we kind of needed that. We're just a team that we just kind of have to go with a chip on our shoulder and kind of have a little vendetta sometimes. Um, that's just the thing. Like, we have such a nice team, but sometimes I need them to just get a little mean and gritty at times. But um, it was good to see Hannah Simpson's back come around. She's been working incredibly hard, and we know that if her bat's on, that plays a huge role in our success in the postseason. So, um, and then Eva and Peyton continually seeing the ball well. Um, I love our slap game. They've done a good job mixing small and long balls this year. So. Good to have Tatum Aragon back mm -hmm. in, in the lineup. Uh, got another. Now she's got a day off tomorrow. Are, are you comfortable that uh, she's in, in a good position here health-wise? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just kind of working through her little finger injury. But um, she knows what she needs to work on. She's been doing a good job hitting and making those adjustments. But, again, between Hannah Simpson and Tatum, uh, that will just be huge for us in the postseason. And Tatum's just kind of that gritty player that we need to. All right, Coach, uh, you look at the postseason, us, Southeastern, Iowa Western, Southwestern will be in there. Uh, obviously, you don't want to discount anybody, but, you know, the, the one, two, and three seeds, this could be a real interesting Region 11 mm -hmm. play. I don't think there's a clear-cut favorite here. It's just going to be who plays good softball in the next seven days. Yeah, I honestly think it's just going to come down to who has the energy, who's going to be efficient with some of the small stuff here and there. Um, all three of us have played each other competitive um, overall, and that's been a good job. But it's just be a matter of pitchers working through some kinks that they need to um, defensively where we're at and who's going to be just out there and getting after it. So it'll be good and good competition for us that we've seen all year, and that's what we've been preparing for, and that's why we've had such a difficult schedule. All right, we'll let you get down there for sophomore day. That's awesome. going to do it for our Fairway Meat and Grocery, and we will have coverage of the sophomore presentation coming up as a standalone in just a moment. But thanks to Fairway Meat and Grocery and Tumwood Servo for our post game and all of our great sponsors like our power sponsor, JBS. I'm Russ W. Oker, Go Hills TV. We are back with sophomore day in just a bit.